Hey everyone, today we were in the middle of doing our header swap on the 720 and unfortunately we broke a bolt off in the engine block. Today we're gonna extract it. It was the furthest back one underneath the EGR, so it's actually the hardest one to get to, usually the hottest part of the block as well. But we're gonna work on getting that out today so we can continue onward and get the header replaced. But let's just jump into it. I'll let you know what you need to extract a broken bolt out of the head of your engine block. So to start things off, what you're gonna need is a drill, a couple of different size drill bits, and a Torx bit as well. We'll get to that in just a moment. What you're gonna wanna do is start with a smaller size drill bit and start to get a angle or position on the stuck bolt in the engine block. So you can start making just a little small circle or hole on it. Um, it can be difficult and you wanna make sure that you don't damage the engine block or some of the threads. Luckily, the bolt's pretty much protecting all of them right now, but you wanna try to get it as center as possible. Now, the bolt um, is probably not completely flat and the drill bit is going to try to walk on you a little bit. Um, just take your time and be careful and hold the drill as steady as you can. Once it starts to find a nice little groove, it will hopefully start to sit on it and you can drill a little bit into that. Once I got a little bit of a small hole started, I then switched drill bit sizes up to something a little bit larger. I went to about a 1 8 inch drill bit. That I was able to drill it out a little bit better and get a little bit more of a bigger hole started because the next thing I did was I took a Torx T20 sized bit and because of the teeth on a Torx bit, it's a little bit, it's around that same size of a 1 8 inch drill bit and you tap that in with a hammer and you can either with your hand or then with a wrench start to slowly walk out the stuck bolt in the engine block, which luckily mine wasn't seized up at all. So it was able to come out and slip out really easily. But a Torx bit, if you find one that's a similar diameter of the drill bit you are using, that is one way you can extract the bolt from your engine. And here you can see we have both sides of the bolt. Obviously the part that was stuck in the engine was not very much in there, but we wanted to get that out so we could get the replacement bolt in. I'll leave you guys links in the description to this bolt kit if you have a Nissan 720, but make sure you get the correct bolt that you need for your engine block. And to put the bolt back into the block, uh, all I did was measured it first and put a little mark on it with blue Sharpie so I knew exactly how far I wanted it to be um, depth wise in the engine block. Put a couple of nuts on the end and tighten them together to get a good hold on it. And uh, got that thing back in the engine block and now we can continue with our header install. And we're actually all finished up with removing that broken bolt from the head. Luckily, we didn't run into any major issues. Um, that torque bit did not like slip. It was just the right size with the drill bit that we used, so that's great. It came out nice and smooth as well. So we are all good to go. We have the header now actually in place, the replacement one. And that video is actually already gonna be finished and up if you wanna check out the rest of the header installation. So I'll leave you a link pop up above if you wanna check that out as well. Make sure you do leave a like on the video if you did find it helpful for, so other people can find it and hopefully it'll be helpful for them as well. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any future content. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video.